So today, I'm going to be filming a Get Rise With Me. I've got a few videos to film, a few pictures to take. Make sure to go follow me on my socials. So I'm going to do my makeup, my hair, and pick an outfit because I'm going to be popping out later as well. I did film a few TikToks before this on some back to school Get Ready's With Me. So I did like a little no makeup makeup look. And I also did some cute hairstyles. So go over to my TikTok if you would like to watch them. I'm going to take this little bit of makeup off that I've already got. I think I'm just going to use a wipe. So I'm just going to use one of these from Superdrug. They're like for sensitive skin. I like just wipes to take off a little bit of minimal makeup that I've done. So I'm gonna start off with my L'Oreal Hydrogenius. I love this at the moment. I bought it the other day and I was getting quite like a lot of little spots on my face, like on my head and stuff. And I was trying so much stuff. Like I tried the CeraVe moisturizer. That made me even more spotty, so don't recommend. Um, I tried loads of different stuff, like loads of little like facial sprays, facial cleansers, everything. And I was just breaking out, although I have got a friend right here at the moment, which is lovely. Um, but yeah, I bought this the other day because I saw someone using it on TikTok and it just looked really moisturizing. So I thought, just give it a go. And I woke up the next morning, my skin was just really moisturized. All the little spots on my head were gone and I was like, what a miracle. So yeah, do really love this at the moment. I apply it day and night and just like before my makeup as well. Okay, just blended some instant tan on my face. The one I'm using is the Be Perfect Golden Hour Glow in the matte one. I prefer the illuminating one, but I can't seem to get it anywhere. Like it's always out of stock. I did have to take the top of it because it split and leaks all over my suitcase. I think it was because I had too much stuff in my suitcase and I was like trying to pack it all in and it just went pop. So yeah, that was great, but I've taped it so it's all right. And I just keep it in my little bag now instead of putting it in my suitcase with all my clothes. I'm doing a very glam look today. So I'm starting off with brows and I'm using the Morphe Brow Pomade in the shade Mocha. This has literally lasted me so long. A lot of people don't like doing their brows like this anymore, but I love it. Like, I just think it makes my brows, like, I don't know, like really filling them in with a pomade and then carving them out so they look really sharp. That is just my kind of brow. Like, I just love it. All like the natural kind of spiked up brows aren't really my thing. Um, so I just love creating like the proper 2019, 2017, I can't remember, trend looking brow gonna take a little bit of the IRL filter foundation in the shade F12 and a flat brush if I can find it um, and I'm just going to dip this into the product and carve up my brows this is my foundation shade and that is also the foundation I'm gonna use today um, but I like to use the same shade instead of a lighter one because I just feel like it all blends together and just looks all one color then because I don't like my brows being like super highlighted I like them to just look normal but carved out <laughs> and then i'm taking my beauty blender and just blending like the lines off my face so they don't set um and then i'm gonna take whatever's left on my hand and blend it onto my eyelid as a base for eyeshadow just taking a little bit of my Rimmel press powder and tapping this onto my eye just to set that foundation or concealer whatever you're using it in place because I feel like eyeshadow just never sits right on top of wet products on my eye. I don't know what it is but I feel like it always goes patchy so I like to just set it so I've got a nice clear base to apply my eyeshadow on. I'm going to go in with the Revolution Batman palette and just a fluffy brush. I'm going to go into shade Returns and I'm just going to blend this into my crease and just up a little bit as well and just just kind of everywhere all over my eye to be honest onto my lid into my crease and just above my crease just to create like a nice bronzy look. I'm not going to do much eyeshadow like I'm not going to add a shimmer or anything. I'm literally just going to add the shade Returns. Um, just everywhere and just keep building it until I get the colour I want. Now I've blended that colour, I'm going to take a little bit of the Catwoman Revolution eyeliner and I'm just going to add a thin line to my lash line just as a prep for my lashes. I feel like lashes go on so much more seamlessly if you apply a little bit of black liner because I just feel like they will blend then and you don't have a little gap by your lashes or anything. Now I've applied my eyeliner, I'm going to take some Maybelline Sky Hair Mascara and also just coat my lashes with this. going to apply these lashes, which I think are Bahama lashes, in the style down for you. I'm going to apply these off camera with a little bit of the Duo Lash Glue. Lashes are on, as you can see, are very, very dramatic. Just how I like it. Now for skin, I'm going in with my IRL Filter Foundation in the shade F12 and I'm just going to pump a little bit of this all over my face 
this foundation a little goes a long way um so i always usually end up using too much um and i'm just gonna blend this in with my sponge i love this foundation i've got a lot of natural freckles and this foundation literally covers them i know loads of people are gonna be like oh my god don't cover your freckles but sometimes when i do like a full coverage glam i do just like the nice smooth skin look instead of my freckles being there so a couple of them do always manage to poke through this very full coverage foundation but on the whole it does cover them i do love my freckles but sometimes i do just want a very full coverage glam um, and i don't want them to peek through i do apologize for the lighting i feel as though it looks really bad but maybe it isn't so um yeah i'm just gonna carry on continuing to blend my foundation also making sure i blend it up into my hairline because there is nothing worse than a foundation that isn't blended into your hairline i could do a put my little headband on really i'm gonna take my elf camo concealer in the shade light beige and i'm just gonna apply this under my eyes i love this concealer it literally does increase i've heard a lot of people say that it creases on them but it doesn't on me like i literally every concealer creases on me because i've got like very creased under eyes anyway so i find like literally anything creases under my eyes but this i find is the only product that once i set it even when i don't set it like it actually doesn't crease very full coverage as well it reminds me a little bit of tart shape tape like the applicator and the way it applies and everything it just reminds me of that concealer but obviously a fraction of the price is only like six pounds i'm obsessed with by the way i'm just stippling this in with a brush but i have ordered the elf um what is it like radiant glow thing like the one that's meant to be like a dupe for the charlotte tilbury so i think i might do a little review on my tiktok and see what i think of it but yeah, hoping that it will be a really, really cute product and I can use it for my light coverage days and hopefully it won't cover up my freckles so I can show them off a little bit and not hide them with full coverage foundations all the time. I'm going to go in with the Revolution Translucent Powder and I'm just going to put a little bit of this in the lid. I'm going to take a beauty blend of this. It's all like kind of on the top of the product so I'm just going to bounce a little bit of this onto my beauty blender and blend it into my skin i literally just love setting my whole face with powder because i just find all the like not using much powder never makes my makeup last so i love to just add powder basically everywhere because I, I just feel like it lasts so much better these sponges are from primark i absolutely love them they come in like packs of two um you can get like little mini ones too which i think is really cute for your concealer if you like using a spongy concealer i'm gonna take the revolution bronzer in the shade zero two warm and i'm basically just gonna warm up my face again because i'm looking very pasty so i'm just gonna <gasps> this bronzer is so pigmented every time i put it on it literally surprises me how pigmented it is i'm now going to take what's left of my nars orgasm blush and um, with a fluffy brush and just blend this onto my skin i might also <laughs> fair enough I also take a little bit of my revolution blush in the shade blusher reloaded oh no that's the product name <laughs> the shade pink lady because that one is literally on its last leg so i'm going to take a little bit of this it's a really pretty pink and blend this onto my cheeks to actually give me some colour. I've taken a little bit of the eyeshadow that I used on my lids and I'm just going to blend that underneath my eye very slightly, not too much because I don't want it to be too smoky. I'm going to take some more mascara and just put this on my bottom lashes. What other videos do you guys want to see on my channel? Comment below um, what you want to see or DM me on Instagram some ideas because I'd love to film some more videos for you. So let me know what you want to see and i will of course film some for you because i'm going to upload a little bit more on youtube um because i do love doing youtube but i always fall out of the habit because i always just lose ideas so if you have any ideas definitely make sure to comment um and i will do some i was thinking of doing some college outfits on tiktok but if you guys want more like outfit videos on youtube like little college outfits but like more in depth then let me know and i will do some more of them on here as well I'm now going to go in with my Catwoman highlighter from Revolution. I literally love Revolution products. They always send me their PR packages and I'm extremely grateful. That's why I have so many of their products. Um, but it's literally such an affordable brand. But their products are such high quality. So I definitely recommend Revolution um, products if you're on a bit of a budget. Or you just don't want to spend a lot on makeup. Their products are genuinely amazing. So 
100% recommend. For lips, I'm gonna take the Primark Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Spice. It's more like a crayon, I would say. It's not a pencil, but I'm just gonna, this needs a sharpen, but I'm just gonna outline my lips with this. I literally love this color, it's so pretty. And then for gloss, I'm gonna use the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline or Madeline. Um, and I'm just gonna put this in the center, or just all over my lips really. I literally love this. It's almost like a lipstick and a lip gloss in one. Um, so I don't have to apply lipstick as well. I can literally just apply my gloss after my lip liner. And that is my makeup done. I'm gonna move on to hair now, but I'm just gonna clean my dressing table up first because this is currently the state. So I'm gonna um, just quickly clean that up and then I'm gonna do my hair. I think I'm gonna curl it, so. Okay, I've zoomed you out a little bit so that you can kind of see what I'm going to be doing when I'm curling my hair. I'm going to be using the Beauty Works and Molly Make Curler. Since I've had my hair cut, um, it's grown a little bit now, but since I had my hair cut, um, straightener curls are just a little bit too bouncy and they bring my hair up really short. So this gives me a little bit of a looser curl um, and I like that for my short hair because I don't want it to look super short. So I'm just going to like roughly split it down the middle into two parts and I'm just going to put it in a bobble just so it separates the two parts of hair and I'm going to start on this side. I like to just start from the back so I'm going to take a section about this big. I think we're going to try this big um, and I'm going to take my curlers and I'm going to curl the hair the secret with this curler is to make sure your hair isn't all rolled up it's like flat as you can see like on the curler um because if you kind of like roll the hair up so it's like i don't know do you know what i mean like it doesn't seem to curl it it likes the hair like flat to the curler instead of like all rolled up so just take your time while you wrap your hair around it should work so i'm just gonna catch this into my hand and I'm just going to hold the curl. I'm not going to pin them um, just because I can't be bothered for today um, but I'm going to just hold it into my hand. You can use like a heat protect glove if you want but my hands are a little different. <laughs> Joking but um, yeah I'm just going to hold this until it cools a little bit and then just let it go. Leaves you with a cute little curl. Um, but yeah the trick with this curler is to honestly just take your time. I didn't use it for about two years. Like I had it for Christmas. I used it like on Christmas day. Oops. I used it on Christmas day and I never used it again because I thought it was rubbish. Absolutely loved the waver but I couldn't get on with the curler and then I thought hmm I'm gonna try it again and I got the hang of doing it and just made sure my hair was completely flat um, to the curler and yeah definitely a curler you can use on non-extension hair because obviously my hair is in extensions my hair's freshly washed as well um so yeah it's definitely a product you can use on non-extension hair because a lot of people think that it's just for extensions but it definitely does work on normal hair as well and um, yeah just definitely make sure to hold it as well so you don't just let it straight out and it just drops out um because that's another reason why it kind of like falls out as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna take it around. But see, like if your hair was rolled up and you wrap it around, it doesn't seem to work. So make sure to just unroll the hair when you wrap it around, and then it should work better then. So that's my little trick for the Molly May curler or the Beauty Works curler. I'm just gonna probably time lapse this now of me curling my hair with some music in the background so I don't bore you um, with my ramblingness, if that's a word. Probably not. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish the rest of my hair and I will see you in a little bit. I 
Okay, so hair is all done and you probably just saw me lay out my outfit as well on my bed But I thought I would just tell you where everything's from before I put it on So these jeans are from Primark. I got these the other day. They were £10 And I just thought they were really nice. They're a little bit long though So I'm either gonna like fold them or cut them. I've got this cute little top It's like a little lace up black top from Motel Rocks. I'm gonna pair with the jeans I think that is just really nice. It'll kind of with the jeans a little bit. I just think that's really cute. Um, I'm then going to pair it with my black and white Jordan 1s. Um, I absolutely love these. They go with so many different outfits and I think they'll look really nice with this one. And then to finish off, I'm also going to add this jacket from Primark that I also bought the other day. This was £14 and I absolutely love it. I really want is a leather jacket and I think it's perfect for the kind of weather at the moment, like the summer merging into the autumn. I think a leather jacket is perfect for that. Keeps you really warm. For a bag, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm either going to have my little black one that I always wear, or I think I'm going to do this little, little one from Pretty Little Thing, because it'll kind of match the white in the trainers. I'm not sure yet, though, because it might just be adding, like, another colour onto, like, the top half of me. So, I might see, but let's try it all on. In the dark and in the right, keep it keep it running like a Hang on, let me just kind of pull my camera down a little bit so you can kind of see the whole outfit. That is it, and I'm gonna use this bag from Pretty Little Thing. It's so big as well. Ooh, it literally fits everything in it. So I'm gonna use this bag, kind of matches the leathery look of my jacket. So that was my little get ready with me. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to head over to my Instagram and TikTok for more makeup, hair, and clothing videos. I really hope you enjoyed. <laughs>